So Nano Banana is changing the way that we create architectural images forever. So right here, I have the Google AI Studio open. I'm going to show you just a few quick use cases on how we can actually take advantage of this in our architectural workflows. First of all, I'm just going to get a screenshot from SketchUp uh, off the house and I'm going to type in make this a realistic render of a suburban American home and make it a sunny day. And then we're going to click enter and actually control enter. And in just a few seconds, you're going to be able to see how this actually is, uh, I guess, converted to a realistic render. As you can see right now, it took about 10 seconds. Uh, this is completely off as of now, but what we can do is we can say, uh, make it look like a real photograph, add um, surroundings and um, a neighborhood around. Let's click control enter once again. So in 10.7 seconds, as you can see, it took that image, which still looks like a sketch of image, obviously, and then turned it into this. Now, obviously, it didn't get some of the context here in the gray area, but we can obviously say that uh, from the reference image, uh, the gray area on the area on the ground is a driveway. Make that change. Okay, so now let's see if this actually works. But you can see that in just one click, this actually became a quite realistic looking render, and it would have taken a lot longer to actually have this as a uh, render and do it ourselves. So this is what it actually created. Now, what we can do, we can say that at uh, the top right corner of the uh, corner of an image, corner of the image, add a tree to help with framing and on the bottom near the pool add some colorful floral shrubs so now we can test this out and see how this will look so you can see that this took 14 seconds to change from this to that in terms of the dry way and you can imagine that this would have taken at least like 20 to 30 minutes uh, if we did it with the traditional tools um, not to say that like just setting up the lighting to look sunny and having even like subtle composition things as a shadow on the ground, which helps with taking attention away from the foreground and putting it there uh, is a big difference. Now, these shrubs look a bit uh, too, I guess, these are not very realistic. I will say uh, make them smaller and less colorful or I guess them I have to specify, make the shrubs smaller and less colorful. Uh, so suburban American Midwest uh, landscape. Cool, so let's do control enter. Now let's see what this actually creates for us. So as you can see in just a few iterations, we went from a, a screenshot from um, we went from a screenshot from SketchUp to this, which is actually not pretty bad in just a few seconds. So this is actually much better. And I would be happy with an image like this. As you can see, also the tree right here is placed very naturally. And this looks quite good. I'm going to do the same thing with another render. So I'm going to say, make this a realistic render of um, render photograph keywords using here. I'm not sure if that makes a difference, uh, but we're going to say gloomy autumn day raining, whatever. Let's see how this actually converts into uh, with just a few simple words, not any kind of prompt engineering, just simple English. So this is not that bad, actually. So it did that. What I would say is that uh, let's add shrubs and irregularities in the foreground and landscape. Uh, make the orange, let's say wooden planks or wooden siding, not planks. Um, is there anything else I would change this? Let's just keep it like that for now. So this would be one iteration. Let's see how this would go. And this is going to take, let's see how many seconds. So this took 19 seconds. 
from this to this. But I mean, it matched the mood pretty well. We can obviously, as you can see, do iterations of all of these and it is pretty good at keeping context. So immediately you can see that it added shrubs and ir irregularities to the landscape and it looks uh, much better. And we took this just from a bare sketch of image. So what we can do is let's make it nighttime and add some light, uh, some warm lighting coming from the interior of the house. Okay, so the lighting might be a bit too strong, uh, but I think overall it's just doing a much better job and a lot faster than doing it manually with traditional software. Now, another case study is that we can say, uh, this is a living room render. The So replace the sofa with the orange leather, with replace the sofa with the leather one I am attaching. And then I can attach another screenshot right here. So basically from the internet. And let's see how in an interior image, it can actually replace furniture with just one prompt. So <laughs> this is actually pretty crazy. So it basically did that with just one prompt. It even tried to get elements from the cushions. Um, and I mean, yeah, it's a lot faster than having to do it manually. So this took like 27 seconds, by the way. Cool. So I'm going to show you another very cool, um, I guess, case study. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, do this sketch and render. And I'm going to go ahead and add the one and only Zaha Hadid. I'm going to add Zaha Hadid right here. And I'm going to say, add the person walking around the kitchen island. Um, and I'm just going to play uh, do control enter. And you're going to see how we can add people or any specific person into a render, it might not get all the features correct, uh, but it's worth a shot here. <laughs> so it also did the same kind of angle uh, as if she's standing by the owl. Uh, let's say uh, add her walking maybe towards the kitchen and add a little bit of motion blur. So let's run this as well. Okay, so it actually did this. We could also probably change the clothing, but I'm not gonna go ahead and do that. Now, as you can see, Nano Banana from Google is actually insanely cool. Okay, so just as a bonus, I wanna show you how we can turn this image into an actual animation. So I'm here at uh, Kling AI, and I'm just gonna type into the prompt, animate the person walking around the kitchen, and the camera should be zooming out slowly. I'm gonna click generate, and let's see what this comes up with. And just like that, we have Zaha Hadid walking around on the kitchen and this actually zooming out as an AI video. So all of this is very cool. Let me know if you think that AI is definitely changing architecture workflows. And if you want to see more like this, make sure you go ahead and watch the video right here.